Hey guys, today I want to talk about fibromyalgia. So sometimes I'm starting to wonder if it's just a scam diagnosis or not, because I get so many patients in here who have been told that they have fibromyalgia, and in, uh, indeed it turns out that they have some kind of nervous plexus and trapezoid syndrome. And uh, as some of you may know, if you have an entrapment of the nervous plexus, you will have a lot of diffuse issues. And of course, it varies upon the severity of the entrapment, of course. But if you have, for, for example, thoracic outlet entrapment, which is quite, uh, quite common, you can get uh, pain into the chest, down into the periscapular region, into the arms, and so on. And many patients will say that, well, everything hurts, the whole arm hurts. And that can be misinterpreted to be fibromyalgia. And this is why it's so important to check the branches of the nerves, okay? If it's general fibromyalgia, all kinds of muscle aches outside of the region of the, of the nerves, it will also hurt excessively, of course, okay? Because if you have nervous uh, entrapment of the plexus, the muscles will also hurt, but it will hurt more if you go and you push into the branch of the nerve. So let's say, you know, oftentimes my patients are sitting here and they're telling me that they have a pain here and they're basically drawing out the radial nerve to me and they're saying that no one can figure it out. <laughs> okay, And uh, of course I will immediately know that that is the radial nerve and I can just go to confirm that. I will go to the branches, for example, under the supinator, I squeeze it, the patient screams, well, guess what? This is nerves. Uh, if, for example, if I go to some kind of muscle that is not that connected to the nerves, for example, the, the, the wrist flexors medially here, squeeze. If I go here, that will be the ulnar nerve, ulnar nerve. But if I go here, for example, so I don't know what it will be, the flexor carpi, uh, ulnaris or whatever, I squeeze in there, no pain. Okay, so it hurts when I squeeze into the nerve uh, path, but not into the general muscularity uh, in the region outside of the proximity of the nerve. It's not that likely that it's uh, my fibromyalgia. It's the same th thing in the, in the lower body. We know that the whole lumbar plexus passes through the psoas major and also uh, the lumbosacral trunk emerges through the, the psoas major and then it uh, forms the sciatic nerve which passes through the, the piriformis muscle. So if we have a double crush syndrome, both in the psoas muscle and then also in the piriformis. Well, guess what? The patient can have tremendous pain in their, in their thigh, in their hip, in their groin, in the back of their leg, even their calf. And they will often complain that everything hurts and they are very frustrated to find out what is wrong with them. And of course, they have been told that it's fibromyalgia. And once again, if you go to the nervous path and you see that the path of the nerves are very irritated, but in fact, the musculature that is a little more uh, distal from the nerve path, it's relatively fine, or at least a lot less uh, painful than squeezing into the, uh, into the nerve. Then it's a much greater uh, probability that this is a um, uh, neuralgic uh, syndrome rather than fibromyalgia, okay? And uh, it saddens me to see so many people have these issues, and I would say that, at least in my patient group, most of them are being told that they have fibromyalgia, there's nothing to do about it, good luck with your life, and that, that's, I think that's really sad. So once we have identified that, uh, that there is actually neuralgia, not fibro, non-specific fibro, fibromyalgia, of course, then we need to know what to do about it, right? For example, if it's a psoas, we need to strengthen that psoas. Uh, research has shown that there, there will be a buildup of connective tissue and rigidity of that, build, of that connective tissue if there is dysfunction. My experience is that when you strengthen that muscle, the, the fascial gliding returns and the, the nerves that pass through the structure, it can freely glide, the friction will pass and pain will gradually go. But of course, this is a great job for the client. It takes time, it takes diligence, but it's possible, it's doable, and the prognosis is good uh, if this criteria is being fulfilled, okay? So uh, I want to talk a little bit about this. I think a lot of patients are having this issue. They are very frustrated. Uh, many of them are losing tremendous uh, degree of life quality over this. But in most, at least in my experience, not in all circumstances, of course, but in many cases, it, in cases, it turns out to be neuralgia. And uh, in most cases, this is treatable, guys. And, and we can uh, get the quality of life back to some of these clients, okay? And often most of these clients if they are willing to do the work, because it's hard work. Posturally, training the muscles and so on, it's hard work, but it's doable.
Okay, I hope this has been informative. I wish you all a great day. Uh, bye.